Well, hello there, everyone. I'm here to show you right here. I'll talk about for distiller right here, for Adobe Distiller right here. And uh, you see right here that uh, this right here would be the the front, uh, you know, like talking about for the home page right here, talking about for whenever you do open up distiller right here. And uh, you see right here, these uh, are going to be files right here based on uh, you know, any uh, files and talk about for if we're talking about. Uh, for postscripts and then also any other sorts of file documents uh, that are you know, used to just build convert files a lot of times. So it sure seems that way that, that whenever you first uh, think about uh, distiller a lot of times, are we necessarily thinking about photographs or are we thinking about any documents or anything uh, such as uh, for recent, recent publishing or anything like that. But you see right here that... Uh, this right here is actually the information right here based on the locations of the files and also uh, whenever they were created and also uh, the information uh, based on, you know, yeah, for, uh, you know, this right here talks about for distilled time, zero hours and zero minutes. And uh, so this right here that uh, uh, these right here look like that they're notes, you know, based on, you know, from what the information about the files on. But so it sure seems that we that. Uh, if you're going to be using any files that you're trying to export, you know, from, um, from, uh, you know, any source, uh, from any desired uh, location, like, let's just say if it's from a cloud or maybe from a, from a, a root folder or somewhere like that. And, uh, you want to know too that, um, that, uh, you know, that's, um, uh, you know, files that you do, uh, open up uh, in another program when you're exporting to, uh, from, to another program, right? And uh, you'll want to know too uh, that uh, if you, even though if you cannot open them up in Acrobat, but then you can still see it right here. And uh, so it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about uh, distiller a lot of times, what does distiller pretty much mean? Well, to me though, it's like I talk about for print quality though, but a lot of us would more likely say that um, that won't distill or that uh, what you are basically doing is just for verification purposes or for any reason at all that that you would uh, use that that you know, that the software really that you know before you know before that option to where the pdf files were available but uh like uh eros might say that well really that uh that you would really use it, the software just to be able to create pdf files but to me, though, I'm just wondering that uh, how come that you cannot use Acrobat for the same thing? So compared to uh, other software programs, maybe if it is um, Publisher or any other source of or you know, InDesign, that uh, you warn that uh, that uh, you have right here you know, with Distiller right here. But then if you click on Settings right here and uh, top off for Edit the PDF File Settings right here and Add PDF File Settings right here. So if you click on that, and then uh, it sure seems that way that, uh, and it brings up uh, these uh, other menus right here, and uh, you top up for the file location, right? But it sure seems that way that, uh, that when we speak about distiller a lot of times, that uh, if you're trying to, if you're, you're distilling, is that really used for detecting any source of copyright? Or maybe if we are talking about that, you know, using it, just uh, for verification purposes, like let's just say that if you are going to be working for a publishing company, or if you had to create a PDF file document that contained any, uh, you know, yeah, you know, if it's uh, if you were to be uh, using uh, InDesign or Photoshop uh, for any reason at all, then then uh, you're able to detect about what uh, what documents that were edited and which ones that were modified and what you know how they were created and. Uh, so you show right, you see right here that these are the files, the destination right here. So you're whenever you're when we're working with a distiller, that you're able to read uh, from where that where that file was located at. So you're able to read, uh, you, you know, pick up about new information about that file from what was created and and um, for how it was handled, for where it was found. And uh, so it sure seems that way that. Uh, that if we're going to be naming a file, right, and uh, let's just say they have right here, this right here, the PDF file document, right? But a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about um, PDF file a lot of times, it's like 
you wanted to where okay uh, with a PDF that um, that when we speak about PDF files a lot of times that um, when I were uh, working with a PDF file does that mean that to where that uh, this uh, software right here is used to convert your files at uh, postscripts to PDF but then with Acrobat that you're able to uh, you know, you're you're able to uh, set certain folders and uh, put them in a, a certain certain category right you know to a binder so I do wonder that uh, that uh, if I were to be using distiller I would probably be uh, using that to you know, just uh, mainly the fact about if you're trying to build a project that contained uh, maybe more than 20 pages and a 102 that okay yeah that if you're trying to uh, if you were a photographer and let's just say that if you were trying to uh, form a uh, build an article uh, that contained more than five pages of something that based on an article that you were trying to write about or something that you were trying to publish right and a 102 that uh, the reason maybe why you would distill that is maybe because of the fact that that those that file that project contained a lot of still images and anything that you were trying to print and um so it sure seems that way that uh that you would not really have the magnifying glass option too much with distiller but you would have is that uh, you you would have these uh, print options and uh so yeah for high quality print right here but then also if we can see this right here you can set these other commands and preferences to where print quality and then the smallest file size and switch to the standard and the standard classic right here so it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about distiller, that uh, are we uh, necessarily thinking about? Are we thinking about copyright, or are we also thinking about to where that uh, whenever you do a distill a document, are you looking very carefully about that uh, those images from uh, where they were really, you know, the original owner, maybe the original publisher. And maybe that if there was anything that was edited on that document. So I just really think that um, unless if we're talking about a typical birth certificate or a driver's license, like we've seen it before, when we're able to uh, view uh, HTML documents on a PDF file format, right? And so you're wondering to where um, that um, when we speak about PDF file documents, that uh, you know we're wondering that. Uh, that you would uh, distill, uh, you know, use distiller to be able to create PDF files, right? But then also, but with postscripts, and uh, so it sure seems that way. That uh, that uh, if you're going to be uh, using a program like InCopy or InDesign, then then uh, this is like a, another. It's it's kind of like a maybe a little bit like a shortcut if you want to look at it like a shortcut to where it's uh, that 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 uh, that would be used. You would go there if you were actually working on a project from InDesign or maybe a Microsoft Publisher that you, you would use this tool uh, just uh, you know, so that way you, you know, if you're trying to create that high domain uh, you type uh, print results or if anything if you're trying to condense a file to a smaller size and then you would be able to open up distiller that but but on your hand that I usually use Acrobat for a lot of that but but I tell you one thing, though, that uh, when we're trying to understand that distiller, though, that it seems like, uh, yeah, that uh, whenever we're trying to, if you're going to be working on any sorts of projects, so. But the one thing I did want to point out right here of uh, the files right here. So if you're if you're trying to open up a file, if you're trying to distill a file right here, you see this right here that if you were to be naming uh, that file like uh, the G two, you know, if you if, if some of this stuff. Maybe it was related to classwork, or maybe if it was related to about if you decide to change it, you know, to rename the file, or if anything, if you move those files to a different location, and they would show up right here. So it seems like the yeah, you know, would you use Distiller just to be able to trace where those files were transported to? So let's just say that uh, if you moved them from the cloud to maybe a designated area. Such as maybe uh, if you moved them to a certain location on your phone, or maybe if you did uh, decide to go ahead and uh, rename the file, or for any reason. So so yeah. So whenever we're, you know, so it sure seems that way that whenever you uh, modify a document or whenever you uh, monitor a document, that uh, 
that you're able to read that this information here about uh, the you know Photoshop document along with it, the name of the file and uh, how it was created and then uh, also you know error defined in a uh, offset commit so if there's any error messages or anything like that which I know that uh, you would see that uh, you know using you know InDesign and uh, so it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about distiller though that uh, you're warning to where are we really even paying attention to too much of uh, what the file name is called or maybe uh, what you know, the original uh, file creation was or the fact about that whenever you do check out a, a program on your computer on your system and uh, 102 that uh, okay uh, if you were to be uh, using distiller for any reason at all that uh, you would go ahead and and use it uh, maybe for you know, just you know to check it out or if anything uh, that if you're mainly are using this mainly because of the fact that um, that if you're trying to uh, yeah if, if you're checking it out but then also that from what you read about that um, if you're trying to uh, work a project that, that uh, requires you to to open up distiller just about the fact about if it's just to do typical reviews and research and uh so how often are we going to use it to just to review any uh publications or anything and and a lot of times it's like yeah well really that uh whenever you do uh open up a, a file you're using distiller that uh you would see these uh options right here and a lot of times it's like yeah whenever you're using the export or you know, import export and any files into a different program that uh, you're going to see this information right here about that, that uh, this file right here was uh, was used in photoshop this file right here was it was moved uh, from the, the one drive uh, to uh, to maybe the google drive or maybe the cloud the samsung cloud or some so a lot of times that when we think about this, though, you know, let, you know, if we're talking about maybe tax documents or something like that, that we're able to uh, read and modify about uh, that the, the the file was originally saved in this location, but then it was moved. It was transported to this location. So it sure seems that way to each time we think about the distiller, though, uh, that uh, are we necessarily thinking about magnifying glass are we necessarily thinking about that that well really that the, the purpose uh, for what it's for and uh but like everybody else might even say that um if you're going to be distilling any uh documents uh it's like uh, for any photography or publishing reasons that uh you weren't to were okay really that uh you would uh really you know if you're trying to convert any files really but um uh, I just really think that um, that uh, whenever you uh, look at it at first, and it seems like okay, uh, yeah, you know, it seems like that there's always a question about that. You look at what you see right here, and a lot of things that you don't quite understand about what these yellow markings right here would mean, and so so it sure seems that way that um, that really, why would anybody spend uh, a whole lot of time just understanding about what the program is doing and what it's for? And but well, on your hand, though, that uh, if we were, if we're talking about tools that you have access to just to verify, just for copyright reasons, or if anything, uh, if it's in result to where um, that if you're just trying to read the publishing data. So let's just say that if you're just trying to verify the information about the document, and uh, so it's like. One oh two that you know. Do you think that maybe Acrobat would also be used you know, for that? And then, uh, if, especially if we're talking about for in copy, in design, and Microsoft Publisher, and uh, you know other other programs. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and a great day.